Hey guys, and welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and it's been a little crazy around here, and it's fixing to get crazier. So today, we want to talk a little bit about our Christmas decorations. Everybody's got Christmas decorations. They're always doing their thing, and I think that's wonderful. If you don't believe in Christmas or you don't celebrate Christmas, that's okay too. But we're going to decorate the old-fashioned way this year, and um, this is not about what day crisis born or anything like that. This is simply the old fashioned Christmas, what we're gonna be doing here at Deep South at the cabin. And I wanted to show y'all the mess my kitchen's in. Danny hasn't been back yet, so y'all bear with me and let me get this done before he sneaks in the door, okay? This curtain I found and I just love it. It is um, the nativity scene in a curtain and I usually drape it over um, the mantle and so this year, I'm not sure how we're going to work that because the mantle's not exactly in place, but we're going to see if everything works to hang this. Isn't that gorgeous? Some of the things I have on the floor here came out of the attic. We start with, I have the tree skirt that I've had for a while, and we may find a different one, but for right now, it just has teddy bears and stuff on it. Kind of cute. The box and the bag underneath has garland in it, uh, just the green, looks like greenery. Um, here, more of our red ornaments, uh, tin that I want to put under the tree. Some angels, more doilies, more little gift bags that are cute that we can use. That's some of the stuff I've already had. Here, this wreath and the hanger, the deer on it. It's going to go on the door. This box here has more uh, ornaments in it that were ours. I was given these ornaments last year or the year before. I can't remember if I've had them two years, maybe. My Charlie Brown ornaments. Aren't they beautiful? I love Charlie Brown. Um, this one was our first ornament that Danny and I got. My, my daughter, I believe, gave us this one. Our first Christmas with our date that we got married and everything on it. I thought it was gorgeous. Bear with me a minute. These two came from Betty's Box of Blessings this year, and so I kept those. This is a stand that I had, and I would like to put it up, get three candles to go on it, and decorate it with a little bit of green. Y'all, I hit the sale rack after Christmas last year, and I paid like 10 cents a box for candy canes. And I took them out and I put them in this um, Ziploc bag. They still look good. The candy canes are big. They can hang on the tree anywhere. And a treat with added to some hot chocolate. It doesn't matter. This is gorgeous. A friend sent these. Now, let me check my names because some people said you can and can't. Okay, Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie sent these. She sent me a message with them. These clip onto the tree. And they're little gold candy candle holders. And she also sent me red and white candles to go in them. And a letter saying, do not burn the candles on the tree. This is for decorations. And when Danny saw them, he says, okay, we can't light the candles. And I said, no. She told me not to light the candles. But I have not seen these in many, many years. So these are beautiful they're going to add a little old-fashioned Christmas to my tree. Now, Miss Linda sent these. These are gingerbread ornaments. And they were actually some, I believe, she went on my site for the cabin and saw that this was what I had on my Amazon page and bought these. And see here, gingerbread. These are beautiful. And Danny and I are beginning to think that we should have named the cabin the gingerbread house just because everything's going gingerbread in colors. Miss Eileen sent these. Now, this one was one that Danny, I, I thought Danny would love. The cabin is my happy place. They had like a mug and a, all kinds of stuff with this, and I thought that's beautiful, and she found this and sent it to me. And this one is mine, Oh Holy Night. This is beautiful, guys. It looks like a piece of wood with all this design on it, and I love it. It's beautiful. This one, I almost cried. Mrs. B didn't want me to tell you her name, and I'm not going to. But 
Thank you, Mrs. B. This, she, she sent me one of her Christmas ornaments. And, you know, I do believe this one probably is uh, and one she's treasured for a long time from reading the comments. She said she could remember sitting by a fire and the fire sparkling off these at night. And I hope it does that on my tree. So Merry Christmas, Miss B. That was beautiful and precious for you to send me an icicle. I love that. Thank you. Here are some lights that Miss Sophie sent me. And Danny's done been playing with these. You see the batteries are open. These are battery operated lights, so we don't have to worry about electricity at the cabin. We've got lights. Thank you, Sophie. Miss Lisa sent these. Now, I love the hangers, too. They're gorgeous. But look at this. Some beautiful hand work done by somebody with this. It looks like material folded certain ways to make the star. Isn't that gorgeous? I bet that's a lost craft that somebody could be teaching somebody else how to fold material in this way. Thank you, Lisa. These are gorgeous, and I love the hangers, too. I've not seen any exactly like that. Now, Tony sent these. I love the sleigh that Tony sent. These little wooden ornaments like um, rocky horses, but yet it's like circus animals. And then the minis. Look at that. I love the minis. This is cute. Miss Nancy sent me a corn cob baby. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love that. That's, that is awesome. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Stringfield Ridge, Lee and Teresa sent this one. Look at this. The feathers, the beads. I love it. Stringfield Ridge, they come up with some cute ideas. They're very talented. And Miss Denise from Gemini Homestead, Miss Lippy, you guys call her, sent me a box of goodies. Now look at this. Isn't this awesome? It looks like a little lantern that you can sit somewhere, or it has a cushion, a, a suction that you can put up. And then there's a bunch of these lights that I thought I'd put on the stairs maybe. More lights, more red ornaments. Her aunt, I believe she said, did these ornaments. These are hand crocheted ornaments here. Look at this. And she shared them with me. I thought that was so special. Now, I've actually made some similar to this before many years ago. I haven't crocheted little stuff in so long because of my eyes. Then she shared some um, little bitty ornaments. And some of them are gingerbread. And I thought that was so precious because we are doing some maybe gingerbread. And some gold and red ornaments and more lights. Here are some reefs that my mother gave me. And I've had them put up and I'm going to have to decorate but look at this one. I'm thinking, okay, somebody with some ideas may have to come help me. But one reef. This one is just a grapevine. Very easy to decorate. And then this one I have to take everything off because it is um, flowers for the fall. But look at the design in this isn't that gorgeous? So, I've got to get busy. I've got to take all the flowers off, then I've got to figure out how to decorate the reefs and where they're going on the cabin. So, guys, that's a little bit about my crazy day. The tree's coming tomorrow, hopefully. So, we are going to get busy. I'm going to tote all this stuff to the cabin. Freak Danny out a little bit because I'm moving stuff to the cabin, and we are trying to save space over there, but this is going. We're going to put up the tree. We're going to show you the tree being put up on Deep South. And I thought I'd give all shout out to all my friends that have sent uh, ornaments. I've had a few people say they have sent some that haven't arrived yet. So as we get them, we will be showing a lot of these things on Saturday Night Live. And as I go on the Christmas tree, thank you guys from Crazy Days.